Alright, uh, we're at the home laboratory, so we're going to be doing everything you need to do to set up for a dissection uh, using just everyday equipment. So what we've got here is we've got the baker's sheet on a burner, electric burner here in this case. Uh, this will allow us to raise the temperature in the, electric sh in the baker's sheet and we'll add the wax and we'll melt the wax until it's about a quarter of an inch thick and so we have plenty of wax to cover the whole pan. So what I'm doing right now is I'm turning the heat up on the oven, on the stove and I'm going to take the wax out of the package and place it in here. Now what we want to do, we don't want to get it too hot to where the wax burns. So we want it just hot enough to melt the wax. And again we're trying to cover the bottom of the pan and get a quarter inch deep coating of wax. So this will take a little bit of time for it to heat up. But one thing that's good about this setup is every time you cut and put pins into the surface, when you want to reuse the materials, you can uh, go ahead and uh, remelt the wax and create a whole new flat surface for you to work on. So, um, I think two packages of wax might be enough, but it might end up being three. We'll see. Depending on the size of your pan, you obviously have to use more wax. Um, but uh, that's what we've got going on now. And we'll check back in once the wax is melted. So after you've melted the wax, one of the objectives you want to do is to set the pan on a flat surface so that when the wax cools and hardens, it cools and hardens into a flat plane so that you have a nice surface for dissection. So as you can see, this pan is filling up. It's not filling up right in the middle. There seems to be a bulge there. That's normal. But again, this is why we're using wax. The wax creates another surface on top of the original surface. It'll be flatter and give us a better, better surface for dissection. Okay, so the wax has just about finished melting. There's a few little pieces here. Uh, again, I turned the heat down a little bit because it was burning. Uh, when you see the smoke coming off wax, it's not like water where that's steam. In this case, it's burning wax, so you don't want to give off any smoke. This, the wax should just melt and become liquid and dissolve uh, pretty much the way that it's all done. And right now it's all done, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat off. and. Put my spoon away. Now I'm going to move the pan full of wax to a flat surface, like this one on the stove. Now we're just going to let the wax congeal and harden, cool basically. Uh, so we'll give that enough time to cool and I'll show you the finished product once it's cooled. Okay, so what we've done is we've melted the wax into the dissecting pan to create a surface on which we're going to dissect. And as you can see, the wax is cooled and it won't come out of the pan. Uh, it's pretty stable. It's clean. Every time you do a dissection, you can remelt the wax and recreate this smooth surface, start over fresh, and it also helps keep the tray clean. So over the long term. So uh, that's it for now. We'll uh, get back to you with the dissection.